are a free, open and generous people and today we have responded to this in character. Yes, it is a day which has tested us, but so far, like Australians in all sorts of situations, we have risen to the challenge. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there you go. The uh, take from the uh, uh, people in uh, Sydney, Australia on their, uh, their, you know, it was a hostage situation with one guy, a uh, wannabe terrorist, uh, a self-proclaimed Muslim cleric. And uh, watching the BBC, the first thing they kept saying over and over and over again was, we, we can't jump to conclusions, even though the guy had a, this hostage's hands holding up an Islamic flag praising Allah. Can't jump to conclusions, because it might be, you know, some white guy who's uh, mad at the police. Anyway, joining us now is Michael Loftus, host of The uh, Flip Side, with we don't have Michael Loftus. Okay. Uh, always good to know. Uh, anyway, uh, y you know, the, the political correctness is just totally, totally out of hand. And uh, I give credit to the BBC. Of course, it's right up their alley. And, you know, they, they were the first ones. I'm going through CNN, going through Fox, and I'm saying, okay, where's, where's the coverage? Where's the coverage of, uh, of what I'm watching here, this hostage situation, which had been ongoing already for two and a half hours in Australia? Uh, they both did eventually pick it up. Fox stuck with it. And, and CNN then cut away to a dinosaur show, a, a dinosaur documentary. Anyway, all right, Michael Loftus, uh, host of The Flip Side with Michael Loftus, is uh, here. Hello, Michael. Hey, how's it going? Good. Good to talk to you. So, um, you know, this political correctness, when, you, uh, when the BBC was covering this, and, of course, usually it happens on all the uh, left-wing uh, news uh, networks, whenever there's a terrorist act, and, you know, our intuition tells us, the, t the facts tell us, all the evidence points to that it's another Muslim extremist, another Muslim jihadist, and what do they always tell us? Let's not jump to conclusions. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy. I don't, know, I don't know what we're going to do when you just can't, when you can't deal with reality as reality, you have to find some trumped-up name to call it. I don't know. I don't know how to play the game yet, so I'm gonna have to stick with reality. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me let me ask you about reality. The Sony hacking scandal, if you will, and now Sony's got a lawyer, a pretty big lawyer out there, uh, telling networks, "Don't use these emails. You better not use what uh, what is out there." And I, I you know, I, I have mixed feelings about that, to be honest with you. I think they have every legal right to use it. But I have mixed feelings about it actually being used because, you know, these emails were written from one person to another in private, and no one expected that the whole world would hear it, just like J Donald Sterling's conversation. Uh, but, you know, we find now that uh, some Sony executives, uh, big Democrats, big liberal donors, big Obama supporters apparently, uh, were making, you know, racial slurs of some sorts against Obama. The media is silent on that, but they were quick to point out these same executives saying things about Angelina Jolie that she's difficult, but they don't go near the Obama stuff. And, and, uh, and, and all the Leonardo DiCaprio and all that stuff. But, yeah, they don't want to talk. Because I, I, th I don't know. I, I, what, I, what I've read, and I, I feel horrible. I feel guilty, like, just reading the stuff. Like I, like I found somebody's diary, you know? But I yeah, don't like think you're a would... voyeur into their, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, but uh, I don't think they want to, they don't want to go after the Obama stuff. They, they want to close ranks and everybody wants to be on the same page. Like once again, they're just going to deny the reality that it's happening. What, what, do you, what, do you, what do you make of a, of a media that, uh, yeah, I don't know if you saw the CNN, they got some show on Saturdays, we talked about this, we're going to talk more about it later in the show, four women, Sonny Hostin, uh, the Margaret Hoover, the phony uh, Republican, the rhino, a couple of others, and, and, and they all, at the end of their show on Saturday, by the way, that show has no name and no one really knows it exists, um, they all, in, in, in sympathy and uh, solidarity with the protesters in the streets la last Saturday, they all put their hands up. This perpetuation of this myth, hands up, don't shoot, which never happened, it could only yeah. be designed for one reason, and that's to incite, is it not? I, I, that's, the, oh, that's the only thing I can see. And it's like, it's like the protesters, you know, it's like all the cool kids are doing it. You know, all the cool kids are coming out and putting their hands up. Hey, hands up, don't shoot. It's, it's really just it's, the entire world uh, has just taken a, a field day. It's, it's really, someday we'll look back on this. Someday, maybe now talk to, 10 years from now, 20 years now from now, it, it's just like, yeah. um, it, like common sense just took a field day. It's, 
it's yeah I, I hope you're not, right I, I hope you're right talk about your show the flip side oh man it's so much fun and it's just getting better and better uh i've i've always it's 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 always been percolating in the back of my mind just to do a political uh you know comedy show that is coming from from somewhere else instead of the far left which to me it's it, it all right and where do we, where do we see it where, where do we see it michael where do we see it you got to go to you're going it's like a treasure hunt buddy you got to go to the flipsideshow.com and there's a channel finder we're on all right no problem michael thank country. you flipsideshow.com michael loftus ladies and gentlemen we're coming back <laughs>